All right, so I want to do a little brainstorming with you today, all right? So when I say church, what do you think of? God, Jesus, yeah, singing, praying, Rainbow Village, yeah. Boring, who said that? Oh, but interesting. And snacks. Awesome. Okay, that is a great list. I'm sorry if I missed yours, but it was kind of hard to hear everyone shouting at the same time. But this is a fantastic list. And I think most of those things as well. Not the boring one, of course. When I close my eyes and imagine church, I see something quite a bit different from what I used to see. The first thing I used to think of when I heard church was our building, especially our sanctuary. That's the place with the great big cross in the front. Okay, so I would see myself sitting at the front and looking at all of you, your lovely faces. So I still, of course, have that image in my mind and it still fills me with warm, fuzzy feelings. But now when I think of church, I also think of Zoom. Zoom coffee time, Zoom, Zoom Rainbow Village, Zoom youth group, um, Zoom church meetings, Zoom communion. And when I think of church, I think of phone calls. I think of caring cards. I think of decorating the bushes outside of Amy McClure House. I think of pizza boxes filled with fun churchy things for parents and families. I think of parking lot outreach projects. Socks, socks, and more socks for the homeless. I see bags and bags of recycling for Cosmo. I see Heather dressed as a bumblebee selling honey for the refugees. And right now, I think of hearts, lots and lots of hearts. So just take a drive by the church one day before the end of February and you will see hearts planted all over the snowbank. Because every time in February that someone donates $20 to help refugees, a heart is planted right in the snowbank for everyone to see. But that's not all. That's not all I see. I also see people from this congregation out there making this world a better, a more loving place. I see you being kind. I see you treating others with respect. I see you at school helping someone who needs a hand. And I see you at work doing your best to do whatever it is you do, whether it's supporting a coworker, um, serving coffee, teaching, offering medical care and support, or doing other things that help make our community better and a safer place to be. And I see you in your homes and in your communities. I see you caring for others, shoveling your neighbor's sidewalk, offering to buy groceries for someone who maybe can't do it for themselves. Um, I see you phoning your grandma or your grandpa or your grandchild. I see you phoning to remind them that they are loved. Let's see, what else do I see you doing? Ah, I see you baking and sharing. I see you bringing me jelly beans. Look, a very kind woman from the church dropped these in my mailbox just this morning. Every time I eat them, I'm going to think of God's love. I also see you volunteering to donate cl clothing and food and money to organizations like the Food Bank and the Friendship Inn or EGADS. Now, I know that there is so much more, and I could go on and on and on, but I'm running out of time. But now I have this amazing image of church. It's like it completely exploded right outside of the building and little bits of God's love and care have gone flying everywhere. So this week, I would like you to take some time to think about all the ways that you are the church. 
Talk with your families about it. Talk together about all the things you have been doing. And then maybe consider one thing that you could add to your list. Right now, because of this pandemic, people are more in need of God's love than ever before. And the best way for someone to get a hold of God's love is for someone else to give it to them. And that's our job. And I know you all have great, big, loving hearts. So that means plenty of love to pass along. So please, just do it. Be the church. Mm -hmm.